now that we have the theme set up, we're going to want to start by setting up the menus. You can see there's no menus to access any content yet. So in the back end, we're going to go to appearance menus. And then we're going to create our first menu that's going to go up in the title bar. And so I like to call it title bar. And we're going to assign it to title bar, which will put it up here as soon as we start adding some links in it. So I'll add these, save the menu. Now we have access to different content like the members directory. And if you want to add a sub page, you can add it and just indent it by scooting it to the right. And then you get a drop down. Okay. Now let me show you the buddy panel, which is basically a panel that slides in from the side. That's going to give you quick access links. So I'm going to create another menu and I like to call this buddy panel just so I remember what it is. And we're going to assign that to buddy panel logged in users. And let's add some links to it. I personally like to use this area because this is only for logged in users as links that pertain to the user's profile who's logged in. So if you go into this buddy boss panel here, these are all logged in user links that are basically relative to, to the person who's logged in. So it takes them to their own timeline notifications, etc. So let's just add like some of these here, whichever ones make sense for your site. And I'll click save menu and we can refresh. And now we get this panel on the left with the, all these hot links. I can click this to open it up. And um, I'm going to show you how to change these icons. To do that, we go in here and if you open them up, you see a little icon. And what we've created here, I think you're going to like it's it's really easy. So we have buddy boss icon set and you can pick a different icon. So for example, maybe I want this one here. I can save it and you'll see out of the box. We gave you some icons that we think make sense. But here you can you can save it. And we can come back here and you can filter the different kinds of icons we have available. We also have other icon sets, so you can use dash icons and let's also allow image icons or let's say font awesome and image icons. And now when we come back here, we have some other icon sets you can pick from actually. So now we're using font awesome. And I'm going to show you an image in a sec, which is pretty cool. We can also go in here and you see we have SVG support too. Let's go with image. So I could use this, this image and it will load that as an icon. That one doesn't really make sense, but maybe you create your own custom icon and you can upload it this way. And let's do something else. So I'm just going to add a logo really fast. So you can see what I'm going to show off. There are a few different layouts for how this body panel can work. So let me go to body boss theme options and throw in a logo. So then under header, this pertains to this body panel and the header in a way. So we can go this method which will move that logo in the middle. But then we can also do this one, which is going to put the panel permanently docked open on the left and put the logo in there. This is really useful for a site that has a tall logo. So you might have a really tall logo that you want to put in this menu area. And you might want to do it in here because it wouldn't have space at the top. So that's everything for this tutorial.